here we are with a uh, quick video demonstration of the SIO using um, about 11 test games. So I'm going to break this down to a few videos. Uh, I'll just give you firstly a quick overview of uh, what hardware we're connected to. So this is a um, SCPH5502 model PlayStation. And as you can see we've got the uh, SIO in the back there. Uh, connected to the parallel I.O. port. So if we go up and over, we are then running well, power, pretty obvious. Um, we're connected to an RGB cable which runs right along the back into the old uh, XRGB Mini, which is a fantastic piece of hardware in itself. Mm -hmm. um, so that's the screen power supply, XRGB power supply, PlayStation power supply and I've also got a secondary screen which I don't really need anymore so we're using this one um, and the XRGB interfaces with the television here under uh, HDMI which looks in the back so I don't use any of that composite rubbish so that's an overview of how we're hooked in uh, so the image will be, I won't be using any scan lines I know some people get upset when I use scan lines and it's not a very scan lineable game. Uh, so let's get this underway. Oh, and of course, uh, we connect the SIO to the computer so that it can uh, you can load the game through there. Uh, rumor has it the final version will not need to be tethered uh, as it will just load off the SD card some sort of chip not present on this particular version. Uh, so we are running prototype hardware, of course, so uh, revision two is in the works. So uh, stay tuned at uh, sio.com. That's sio-ps io.com. Onward. All right, so I've copied all the games that people have requested onto this uh, micro SD card here. And I've just lost the adapter, but that's no problem. So it's a uh, 16 gig. It's got quite a few games on there, so we just pop that over into the uh, SIO itself. Here's a quick peek at the uh, contents of the SIO SD card. As you can see there, we've got quite a range. We've got bins, images, bins, images, bins, images, bins, images, bins, images. Okay, we've got mostly bins and images, so you'll notice there's no Q files or anything like that. So let's get them tested. Oh, and if you're wondering what the red one is, it just means I didn't get it to load successfully in an emulator. I will be revisiting that if it doesn't work in SIO, of course. Perhaps my image is bad. And there we are, we're at uh, this screen. Now one of the good things is about this is that uh, SIO is technically a mod chip in itself uh, and it also overrides this switch here which is the uh, CD open or closed which is now all controlled via software which I will now focus poorly on uh, black background wasn't very good you can you can see me so there's uh, there's the SIO systems console And uh, what we want to do is, oh, first I need to create a... SD card layout so I know what games are there. So I've just copied across, I think it was Chrono Trigger was the uh, last one I came across. And here we have a list of the games. So what did I say we were starting with? Tekken. So what we do is we track down Tekken, 